25 is 40% of what number? Pretty straightforward problem here. 25 is 40% of what number? So let's see how we're going to work this one out, all right? First of all, it's a basic setup percent problem. And when we say percent problem, so many times the big question is, do we multiply? Do we divide? What do we do? What do we do? So in this case, I'm going to take us back to the formula, the good old formula, which is proportion, proportion, proportion. We're going to look at a proportion. So let's go back to that. I like to call it the part over the base or divided by the base equals the percent over 100. This is our starting point. And I really think, folks, if you get to this point right here, it's so much easier to determine what operations you're going to need to do. All right. And we'll let the calculator take over for us here in just a minute. There it is, but not yet ready to take over. Let's go back to me. Thank you, guys. Good job. Now, let's fill in the numbers. We've got some pieces here. We've got some pieces here. Usually the word is indicates that the part is hanging out. It's not always 100% that way, but usually that's where it's going to be. In this case, it's saying 25 is 40%. We know where that's going. The percent always goes over the 100. So there we go. Pop it right in there. 40 over 100. And the question is, where's 25 going to go? Is it the base? Is it the part? All right. Is it where we started or where we finished up? Well, it looks like we're trying to figure out where did we start? Of what number? Where was our base? All right. So we're going to put in there, or X, whatever you want to call it, we're going to put it right in there for the base. And the part, our 25, is going to go right there because that basically is the result we want to get after we find 40% of something. All right. Everybody with me? You got it out there? You're good? All right. Let's rock and roll on the same deal. You know, now it's time to cross multiply. And we'll see what did we really need to do here. What gets multiplied or divided or what have you. Let's cross multiply. Right there we go. 40 and N. It's going to give us 40 N. Looking good right there. Cross multiply the other way. Let's go back a little bit. And that will give us whew, 25 times 100. Just add a couple of zeros there. 2,500. And now, guys, we'll go to the calculator. All right, let's take it from here uh, so we can move along this. We're going to divide 2,500 by 40 and see what it gives us. Everybody want to bet it's going to come out even? I hope it does. Well, that's even. It, it's not a it's not a integer value, but it certainly comes out even. It does not repeat. It stops at 62 and one half. So there's the number we started with. By the way, to everyone, uh, it doesn't always have to start. A base doesn't always have to be a nice whole number. All right. This one's actually a nice. It could be a mixed number. 62 and a half, 62 and five tenths. However you want to read that. But there we go. That is our value that we started with. Now, could we check it out? Let's check it out. Let's see what 40%, let's go back to the calculator here. Take 40%, which I'm going to change it to a decimal. That's 4 tenths. Some of you like to have the zero. It won't matter. And let's multiply that 62 and a half together with that and see where it takes us. It should take us back to 40. That's what we're looking for. Remember all our numbers are going on here? Or 25, excuse me, we start off at 25. 40 is what we had cooking in the percent. We want to get back to the part, and that is 25. So they all work together very nicely. For more math help, visit tnlearn.org.